In this video, I'm going to quickly walk through how I have implemented this project where I stream tweets out of Twitter uh, SD, Twitter API and then how I'm getting to put those records into Kinesis data stream and also like uh, get to view them in the same instance. Okay, so let's look at this one. So th th there are like a couple of scripts that you can see one meant for retrieving tweets using Twitter SDK and then uh, Twitter API and then like the other one just to see what records records are those as it keeps streaming. So I'm using a EC2 instance here. So th that's what I'll use. There's Cloud9 running on it. So the first thing I'll do is like I'll clone this repository so I don't have to copy paste. So I'll just like copy this one and then go to get clone, do this. Now once I have those files in here, tweets to Kinesis, let me get into that directory. And then I have those files here, retrieve tweets and get records. So the first thing I need is retrieve tweets. So I'll just like try to access that. Okay, so for us to be able to like interact with Twitter API and then like get the tweets, uh, get the stream like we need the Twitter's uh, bearer key the API's bearer key so if you go to developer.twitter.com if you have a project you can use that or maybe create a project and then you create an app within that you need elevated access for accessing version 2 or uh, like for what we are doing we need elevated access so with this app that we have uh, we are going to use bearer tokens I'll just like regenerate the token then i'll copy it from here and then i'll put that into the instance okay so if we look into this this is the kinesis stream name which means like we are initially going to be getting the tweets if you see here like this is like the last few lines that's what we are doing okay so if I quickly scroll it's not displaying for some reason properly so I'm only going to do cat retrieve so I can show the code to you so if you see here like towards the end this is where we are saying that like uh, create this object called stream which is of class streaming tweet so we have a class here and this one uses tweet by streaming client module and there we are having this uh, method called on data so whenever a new tweet comes based on this rule where we are saying that like we want to get all the Twitter tweets that has the word sports or the hashtag sports and that's in English language and here we need the author ID and if that's a the tweet is like a reply to the other user and if it has the geolocation we want that as well so this part will communicate with the class but we are since we are also trying to put this into a kinesis stream data stream here we are creating a session uh, for kinesis and then we have this partition key that we create and then here like after getting the data if you see it in the method called on data here we are getting the tweet and then once we have the tweet here we are running uh, executing this function where we want to put the record and like give me a stream name and this is the stream name that we are going to use you are free to edit all of these things and then whatever data we have which has like all these five key value pairs that's what we are putting it in there and once it does it like we'll be able to get the response code so if I quickly show it to you how this one works one of the challenges here is going to be like although this program uh, get records it has 
be authentication for communicating with Twitter API, but it still does not have the authentication to put the content into Kinesis. So I'm quickly going to go ahead and then create a policy. And here while we try to create a policy, let's say that this policy shall give access to Kinesis so that it can put the record. But later as part of the other um, program where we want to fetch these records, we see get record. We have to see get, get records. So if we see like here we want to use this get shard hydrator uh, permission for Kinesis. We also need get records and we will also need the get shard description. Get shard iterator, describe stream and then get records. So I'll add those three as well to the policy. So I'm just going to say read, describe stream, get records, get shard iterator. Okay. And we want this to happen on is a stream which means I have to create one so I quickly come here and then th there was one created already but it shouldn't be there anymore so I'll go ahead and create a new data stream and we will use this name okay so I copy it I use that name I'll say provisioned one shard is good enough for me here so I'll go ahead and click on create data stream so it will get created and this is the ARN to which I limit this permissions. Okay. Get put. Okay, so I'm going to create a policy. And then similarly, I'll also create a role for EC2 so that it can have access to this policy. So I'm saying create a role and that has this policy attached. So we have created the role. The next thing is like I have to give this EC2 instance that I have. I mean like I need to attach that role. So I'll also say EC2, okay fine, update the role. Refresh this one. Okay, so we have the role attached. Now if I come back to this one. The first program we need to run is retrieve tweets. So I will say Python e retrieve tweets and as it uh, gets the tweet, it is going to print if it has been able to put the data into Kinesis stream. So every time it does put that into Kinesis stream, it just tells us like status to go 200 and then I'm also going to stream these things. So I will say Get records. So as it keeps putting the data, we should also be able to like get all those tweets in here, and we should should be able to like view all those tweets. I mean, like it has the entire record. So if you see, like this is like an entire thing. So it has the tweet ID, tweet text, and approximate arrival time, username. Uh, so uh, whatever goes into the Kinesis stream, you will have all of those things here. Well, so that's it for now. I hope you are able to use it. And this one, I have like tried to get it from this article called "How to Extract Data from Twitter Through Cloud Computing." And then this one goes one step ahead and then puts that data into Kinesis Data Firehose, which means it's going to get delivered to S3 eventually. But in my case, I've just like streamed it and then 
put that into the stream you, you are free to continue or maybe you use a kinesis firehose and then have every each of those tweets also get delivered to s3 that you can analyze later as well